Well, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Grovana, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3. This is part 6, and we are doing the quest for Moira Brown of Megaton, which is called the Wasteland Survival Guide. I'm not going to go into my quest, because I know exactly what we need to do, and that is to find food and potentially medicine at a Super Duper Mart. That building right in front of us is a Super Duper Mart, so we're going to head inside and attempt to find this food. And medicine, medicine being the optional objective, which if we do complete, we get a bonus, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Okay, we have we have arrived at the Super Duper Mart. There are people in front of us. One thing you can do with vats is press it and see what they are. So we have a Wasteland Settler, Escape Slave, Enclave Ibot, uh, and another Escape Slave. And if you notice on the bottom left on the compass, they are... Not red, which means they should be allies, so we can directly walk up to them and they're not going to hey. attack us. Hello there. You'll stay out of this if you know what's good for you. We found that water and we're keeping it. Okay, why don't we all split it? There's really no point in getting killed for it. I'm taking the water, all of it, and don't try to stop me. Listen, for a share of the water, I'll help you take out these jokers. It's none of my business. I'm just passing through. Let's try the speech challenge. I'm not falling for Darn. Well, water's not that important to me, so it's none of my business straight. just passing through. Yeah, okay. You don't have to be rude about it. This is the wasteland. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Okay, so I guess the two people are attacking each other, or what is this? Escape slave? So it looks like these wasteland settlers are fighting each other, I guess. Oh, no, it's the wasteland settlers against the escape slaves. I see. Well, what we can do is simply, uh... Yeah, wait till one side. What? 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 Whoa! 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 <laughs> oh my God! Obviously, that wouldn't have killed me, but you know, if this is real life, it would have. Okay. So what I was saying was, we can wait till one side wins and then loot whoever uh, lost. Okay. So 32 caliber round, a hunting rifle, and there was another escape slave over here, and I see another dead body over there. Let's see, head wrap and another hunting rifle and a raider. 32 pistols and bottle caps. Okay, we also have a couple of new Coca-Cola machines here. No quantum, and what about this one? No quantum. Do these guys have I anything hope you're to say? Here for that water, because we're leaving with. Yeah, same thing. Let's try the speech challenge. I guess I'll Yay! Be over being killed, but I don't have to like it. Okay, what we get? I guess we just got some purified water. No, All right. Um. I think what the whole thing with that was, was this place is a location for a, uh, a random encounter, and it's the same thing in Skyrim, like, you can come up to certain locations where a random thing will happen, and I guess this time it was, uh, escape slaves versus wastelanders that have water, whatever. Um, okay, so here's the super duper mark, we're going to go into sneak, we are also going to save the game, we are a level 3 sentinel, let's head inside the super duper mart hopefully uh you know we'll just go and grab some food it's a supermarket so there should be some food right i remember playing through this part as a kid and i was insanely creeped out this game was really creepy for me as a kid um all right so we have some people we can press vats and see who they are raiders which is very bad news because raiders will kill you on site uh i think 100 percent of the time um, I noticed some people were saying, why did I not take the pre-war money? It's because I played um, Fallout New Vegas the last time, and I f in that game, I think it's worth nothing. But in this game, it is, and I, I just forgot about that. So I will start taking the pre-war money. I know, I know, I know. And uh, the reason I said that is because you can get them usually out of places like this cash register. See? Pre-war money. Okay. So now, in sneak mode, we have a caution sign, which means our sneak isn't that high, so we're being, like, sort of detected, and they're looking for us at the moment. Now, when it starts blinking, that's where we really gotta be careful. Like, right there. Okay, might as well break out of sneak, and uh, start killing these people. It's a neat hairstyle you got. I don't know why that didn't kill her, but, uh, there we go. Alright. So what do you have? 10mm pistol, 10mm rounds, and that's it. Alright, so now they're all gonna be after us, pretty much. So let's just clear this place out. No point in being in stealth anymore. I don't think there's anything going to be in here. Uh, but if I was a game developer, I would put a skeleton or something. But there are definitely instances of that in Fallout 3. Alright, anything else in here? No. And uh, no. And uh, we do have some bottle caps right here. And I believe that is Jet, which is another drug you can take. And also Buff Out, 
which I think increases your strength. When it comes to drugs in this game, I am not knowledgeable because I do not take drugs. Alright, let's go ahead and shoot this guy in the face. Hopefully knock him off his perch. Uh, as far as a weapon upgrade goes, we really want a Chinese assault rifle. I think that's the next thing that we want. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this guy has. He has a hunting rifle. Hunting rifles are okay. They're semi-automatic. I really want an automatic weapon, which is a Chinese assault rifle. Or, um, I think the other one is just a normal assault rifle. Yeah, guns beat uh, whatever you had. A lead pipe, I think. A police baton. Nice. All right. So we're having a shootout here, if you can't tell. Oh, this guy de definitely has the weapon that we want, though. Or this woman, I guess. So let's go ahead and take her out. Looks like it's a Chinese assault rifle. She's doing quite a bit of damage, but we need to take her out fast. And we're all out of AP. Oh, my God. She takes so much damage. Jesus. Okay. Now, she should have 556 rounds, which do go with the assault rifles and the Chinese assault rifles. And she has an assault rifle, which is great. Now, we need to heal because we are, like... As you can tell by the Vault Boy's face there, we are not doing too good. So let's use a couple or three stim packs. And now, let's reload. Let's put that away. And let's go ahead and go into our items and our weapons and our sight, our assault rifle and put that to the top there and then equip it. Good. Okay. Now we have some extra firepower. All right. So I believe we have one or two guys left. Oh, jeez. Hello there. All right. So let's blow this person's brains off. There we go. And now with this assault rifle, we can be more uh, liberal with our bullets. We don't have to like go into bats all the time with that crappy 10 millimeter pistol. Okay, so I believe the food should be somewhere near here. Uh, and there's also a whole bunch of 556 rounds over here and some grenades. And I believe that what I just picked up was a skill book. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. If we go into miscellaneous, uh, maybe not. Hmm. Or eight? Yeah, there it goes. Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor, which is going to be barter. Increases by one. Alright, we also have a terminal here, which is uh, easy, but we don't have 25 science, so we can't do that yet. Some rounds. You always want to search these ammunition boxes, by the way. Ammo in Fallout 3 is not, um, not common. I don't know. It's just, you definitely want to pick up all the ammo you can. It doesn't weigh anything, so there's no reason not to. Okay, uh, let's see here. I think this door is going to be locked, and we don't have the lockpick skill, son of a bitch. Uh, there should be another way to get into it, though. I do see one more red blip. Hello oh. there. <laughs> Goodbye. Why would you fight me with your fist when I have a gun? I have no idea, but then again, you are a raider. Raiders are not known for their intelligence. Chinese pistol, we don't need that. Uh, let's see, bottle cap mine we will take. Another ammo box, or actually this is a grenade box, we'll take all of that. Another bottle cap mine, I don't even think I've ever used a bottle cap mine as long as I lived and played through this game. Um, okay, motorcycle handbrake, that's going to be used for a, uh, a schematic, I think. Also the gas tank. Another ammo box here, which I missed. Come on, come on. You'll notice this is the same exact thing as Skyrim as far as the lock picking system goes. Um, okay. Well, we don't have the lock picking skill and we don't have the science skill to operate the terminal. So the only thing I'm thinking of, because that's where we want to go, is that there's a key somewhere, maybe on a raider that we missed or something, or maybe there's another way into there. I thought there was another way, like a back way. Uh, let's just go over here. I believe we are already in, over here, though. But I thought this way led to the back door over there. Maybe not. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know. I, I've never come to this part and not been able to finish this quest. So that makes me think that I'm missing something and I'm just forgetting. Or maybe there's another way. Let's head to this section uh, of the Super Duper Mart. Let's head in here. What do we got? Let's see. There's a refrigerator. Food storage. Yeah, that's what we want. Okay. Let's take all of that. That counts as the food. But we want the medicine as well. And now it's making me think that uh, we're not going to be able to do it because it's behind that locked door. So energy cells goes with this. A laser pistol. We also have another bottle cap mine. A laser pistol. An ammunition box. Energy cells. I don't really ever use laser weapons, by the way. Okay, let's open that. There we go. Alrighty. 
Well, let me see if I can't find myself a key because I think the medicine cabinet is going to be into in the uh, behind that door that we couldn't open. A couple stim packs here. So let me see if I can't find a key or something. Okay, so I was right. So if you come to this metal box, I'm not sure if it's this one in particular, but if we open it, we find the super duper pharmacy key. And so that is to uh, make up for the lack of lockpick and science skills. So let's head back over this way. And now we should be able to open this. There we go. And inside is a whole bunch of stuff. Now you can loot all this stuff for various supplies that will help you make uh, different schematics and stuff, but we don't really need that for the moment. We also have pharmacy supplies here. Let's go ahead and just press X. I'm not sure if we need to take all of that to satisfy the optional objective, but we did anyways. And we also have a mini nuke. Whenever you find one of these, you want to take them. And we'll see why later. Frag grenades. Also automated maintenance. Very easy. Can we do that? Yeah, we can. Okay, so hacking in this game, you have to like, you know, it's basically like lock picking for computers. You have to pick the right word. A lot of the time, I'll just sort of pick them and, you know, haphazardly until I get the right one. We're not going to do this one because all this is going to do is activate this protect Protectron bot, which would have helped us take out the Raiders, but obviously it's uh doesn't matter anymore. Anytime you see right away you want to take, which is what I just picked up. Anything else in here? Oh, yeah, that's right. Nuka-Cola Quantums. There we go. Nuka-Cola Quantum two and three anytime you find those you want to take them as well am i missing anything in here i think we want this right the vacuum cleaner is definitely for something uh yeah but we're getting a little bit encumbered here um let's see a whole bunch of ammunition boxes anytime you find 556 that's definitely the number one type of ammo you want at least for me because i like to use the chinese assault rifle up until i get a sniper rifle all right ladies and gentlemen we are done with the super Somebody open up the... Hang on. oh crap right forgot about this yep i forgot about that yeah so once you do that reinforcements come and uh there we go Alright, so let's kill this guy with Vats, since Vats is pretty much a free kill, as you can see there. And now, let's not use Vats and take out the rest of the people. But the thing is, the accuracy is so incredibly low, unless your weapon is like a perfect condition. And so, as you can see here, I'm not really doing that much damage to people, so that's why I like using Vats, just because... So, until you get like an accurate weapon, or a weapon that... Uh, that woman have a sword? Do you have a sword? Chinese officer sword. Yeah, you do. Okay, well, that's cooler than whatever melee weapon I have at the moment. All right, one more person here. I think you also get uh, AP whenever you kill somebody, too. I think you get some of it refunded. refunded. All right, let's kill this person and then get the hell out of here. Actually, we can get the hell out of here right now since we're never going to come back here anyways. And uh, this weapon is extremely inaccurate. So let's head to the capital wasteland. Hopefully it's going to allow me to fast travel. And uh, not say that there's enemies chasing me. Okay, good. Alright. Back to Megaton. Alright, here we are back at Megaton. Let's go into the crater site supply and finish up the first chapter of this quest. And then we'll move on to something else. Hello, Moira. So, how's the scabbing been? Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? That I do. Uh, oh, and you can also not even go and just try and pass the speech thing. But uh, it wasn't easy, but I got the food and medicine. Really? You did? You did? Well, all right. Tell me all about it. Let's see. And it, you can also, you know, obviously here you can use your various special stats to uh, say different things. The Raiders were using the pharmacy as a place to store their best gear. So you're saying that they acquired a well-protected stash? Hmm. I wonder how many other places are hiding treasures behind monsters. Hmm. Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit. My treat. Tastes kind of... Great after a while. Oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more, uh, better. <laughs> and by that, it means that you can eat things that normally have radiation and would give you rads. And I think it doesn't give you any rads at all, but I never really eat any food or drink anyway, so. Uh, that completes the first chapter's tasks, correct? 
Yup, you've done a great job. I just need to add in the section on how to cook rat, and this chapter's done. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course, you may need them. We still've got two more chapters to go. Okay, I'm taking a break from the research, actually. Well, I can't force you to work, I suppose. No, you cannot. Um, alright, goodbye, Mora. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. Okay, that's great to know. Thank you very much for all the uh, trouble you've put me to. Okay, so I think our explosives are now, is now, uh, what should we call it? 25, right? Yeah, so we can go to the bomb and deactivate it, I think, which should just right off the bat complete that quest, if I remember right. So let's go right up to the bomb, activate it. The bomb appears inert, but further examination reveals that it is still operational and still quite dangerous. With the right gear, it would be... It would be trivial. With the right gear, it would be trivial to rig it to explode. To disarm the bomb, however, would take a highly skilled explosives expert. Do nothing. Attempt to disarm the bomb. Rig the bomb to explode. So, see, attempt is is uh, making me a little nervous here. Let's go ahead and save really quickly because I don't think anything bad happens. But I don't want to like attempt and then it explodes. Attempt to disarm the bomb. You have sex. You have successfully disarmed the bomb. Okay, well that was easy, wasn't it? And I guess that little beeping noise was the bomb getting uh, disarmed. Alright, let's activate this uh, quest really quickly. Report to Lucas Sims in Megaton. If you want to explode the bomb, the quest goes you know, far longer. That was just if you want to disarm it and be a nice guy. But uh, yeah, that quest is a lot bigger if you choose the evil side. Hello, Lucas. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. Sweet! So, not only have Take we been care. given a hundred caps, but we've also been given a house in Megaton. And we've completed the quest, the power of the atom. And we've also gotten to level four. Okay, what do we need to put up to 25? I know science is one of them. There we go. Uh, small gun, sneak, speech, unarmed, repair, melee weapons, medicine, energy weapon. Okay, so now we can start increasing the stuff that we want to. And I think I always max sneak first. Do we get a perk? We do indeed. Someone was saying Swift Learner isn't a good perk to put into. I don't know. I just always do it, and it feels like it is a good perk to do, so I'm going to do it. All right, so let's do that one. And that's the final Swift Learner perk, so the next time we will uh, get something else. Now, before we end this episode, I want to head into Lucas Sims' house. Why is it average? Let's wait until, like, 8. Maybe he's going to be inside. There's uh, something in Lucas Sims' house that we want. Lucas Sims being the guy that we just talked to, the sheriff of this place. Also, I'm thinking about getting an Xbox One. You know, I want to put a lot of new stuff on my channel, not just older games. There we go. Um, including Destiny. You know, a lot of people are talking about Destiny and all that stuff, of course. And I sort of don't want to miss out, but I just have no really want to get a, an Xbox One. So, I don't know yet, but uh, I have to make that choice fast. Alright, so here we are in Lucas Sims' house. And if we head into here, I think? No, this is his kid's room. If we head into here... There should be, ah, there it is, a Strength Bobblehead. You found it, a Vault-Tec Limited Edition Bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, it's essential to give your arguments impact. Your strength has been permanently increased by one. And that's one of the big bobbleheads, meaning that that increases our actual special stats and not our smaller explosives, etc. stats. Alright, so before we end this episode, like I said before, but I forgot we want to do one more thing. Let's head into our new digs and take a nap. So if we head this way... You guys remember we've been given a key by Lucas Sims. Is it this place? Yes. Open door to my Megaton house. So this is now our house. Don't know if you guys can hear the thunder in the background, but uh, How yeah. Nice to make your acquaintance. I'm your new Robo Butler. Okay, so this is our Robo Butler Wadsworth, uh, and he has a whole bunch of interactions which we're not gonna see today. But uh, yeah, this is our house, and right here we have a bobblehead collector stand. If we activate it, it'll put our two bobbleheads there. You'll notice the uh, the important ones go on the top. And the rest of them go down here. So that's our little bobblehead collection. Hopefully by the end of this Let's Play we'll get all of them. 
Uh, it's pretty much the same exact house as uh, Lucas Sims and everybody else's, but you can buy upgrades at Mora uh, that are pretty expensive um, to change the theme of your house and all sorts of different stuff, and it's pretty cool. So let's take a bed here and end the episode. The bed will heal you and also give you a, uh, a bonus to experience, I believe. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Grovana. I'm having a lot of fun with this Let's Play so far. Hope you guys are too, and I'll see you next time. <sighs> Goodbye. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed that video, help me out by liking it, adding it to your favorites, and sharing it on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to go the extra mile, go ahead and follow my social pages as well as my Twitch channel. The links are in the description below. Finally, if you want to subscribe and or watch another video that's probably going to be related to this one, you can click the big ol' annotations on the screen. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.